Meet Janet, our digital campaign manager. She creates the high-level digital campaign strategies for our company. It's her job to decide on agency partners, key campaign themes, high-level audience targeting, and high-level channel strategies. Her work's largely strategic, but with some real tactical decisions baked in. Based on Michael's decisions, Janet is charged with growing the PPC program and creating a Twitter program. In conversations with her agency partner, she realizes that while the PPC program is already quite large, there's room to grow in branded search. Expanding the buys of her own company and product brand names. Since branded search converts at a high rate and is inexpensive, this seems like a no-brainer. Twitter recommends that she build a custom experience for the Twitter campaign. Not just land people somewhere on the website. Dedicated microsites work better. So Janet expands the branded search campaign, that's easy, and opts for a youth-focused campaign on Twitter with a dedicated digital experience. It all seems straightforward enough. So what's wrong with this picture? It's amazing how often I see digital campaigns planned as one-offs. As if the thousands of campaigns the enterprises run previously just didn't exist. Well, when it comes to data about their performance, they often don't. Most companies do virtually no tracking of campaigns beyond success or failure at the most basic level. No analysis of individual creative themes by audience. No breakdown of targeting strategies by channel and segment. Nothing. Janet is treating this Twitter campaign as a one-off because every campaign is treated as a one-off. Or, perhaps, a modification of one previous campaign from last year. This wastes the huge potential analytic learnings from every digital marketing campaign. Hey, I'm a consultant, but it drives me nuts how often companies rely on their agencies to make key decisions. Having agencies drive strategy or self-measure is a bad idea. How often have you gone with a batch of money to an agency and been told, hey, we don't need it? We're not in the business of turning down money. Believe me, we'll find a way to spend your money. And it's not just spending money. When you plan and create a campaign, you get invested in it. You just do. And that's actually a good thing. If you didn't, you'd almost certainly be doing a crummy job. But being invested in a campaign emotionally isn't good for measuring its success. It's too easy to find ways to prove what you're looking for. Take all the self-interest problems off the table. Your agency could be as pure and objective as the finest judge. They still don't have the right view and the right data to measure the full customer journey. Nine times out of ten, an agency simply isn't in position to effectively measure the performance of their own campaigns. And as with every other level of decision making, Janet has virtually no voice of customer data. That's a huge gap. She's planning creative strategies, and she has at most some outdated once a year offline survey to rely on. It's pathetic. Nowhere in the organization is it more important to have detailed, continuous, highly segmented voice of customer to inform decisions. And nowhere is it less likely to be found. To see how these decisions play out at the next level down in the organization, check out my next video on digital content creation.